This is the C panel. C stands for Solar Evaporation Array. I'm going to, I'm Mike by the way, I'm going to um, show you how our product works. You can see the entire construction is a, a special food grade FDA certified plastic. The bottom is black, the top is clear, but other than that the two types of plastic are identical. They're a fairly thick see very resilient plastic. Now, the concept of this is that sunlight shines down through this clear panel and these two halves snap together. Here's the inside. And for the bottom panel, we have collection channels and evaporation channels. We also have some other information up front that will go over, I'm sorry, some other components that we'll go over in a minute. As it sits on a stand, this thing is level, and the raw water, or the salt water, collects in here, is fed in here. The sun evaporates the water. It collects on the inside of the top panel and drips down into our collection channel. So, normal operation. Oh, now as it drips down into the collection panel, it's collected out here, and we have three output, three output panels on the bottom of this. We have fresh water, we have our saline water, which might also be our, I'm trying to remember the word for that, brackish water, um, our brine. This is the brine output. Now this can be configured so that the brine isn't pumped back into the water. The brine can be uh, recirculated until it crystallizes, and that's a huge environmental benefit. And then over here, we have a, a large output, and this is for collecting, usually for co collecting rainwater. Because when this panel is sitting outside, it can, has a double purpose that it collects rainwater. The water is piped in through an input pipe, which snaps into this little catch up here. Zoom in on that. And the, the raw feed water is piped in through there and it goes along these irrigation channels up on top here, which then drip down. And what that does, this is part of our patented process, is that it cools this membrane and allows, the con allows greater efficiency for condensation. It then drips down. The parts on the outside here go into this outside channel and get recirculated. The parts on the inside drip down in here and normally there's a flap here and it goes inside at which point the evaporation process starts. Now, there's three different modes you can use this thing in. The normal mode would be to get rid of your brine. Now, that's not necessarily a very environmentally conscious way because brine is poisonous and if you, if brine is basically very salty water. So, if you, if you take condensate out of it, which is pure distilled water, you're left with a water that's extra salty. The better way is to operate this in brine-free mode where the brine is recirculated, and then normally this bottom output is closed through a valve, and the feed water is allowed to continue to recirculate until you want to collect the salt, and then it's allowed to crystallize. The salt's allowed to crystallize inside the unit. This is then opened up, and the brine is, the salt crystals are scooped out, and then you can use them for other things like food preservation, or uh, road salting, or you can sell them as a co-product, whatever you need. The third mode is rain collection. In that case, the brine, or the feed water, is drained from this, which takes about a minute. And when the rain falls on this, it collects through this output and through this output, and it goes to your same water holding tank. because. It's a shame if you have several of these things, even several hundred or even several thousand of these sitting out, that you're not also using them to collect rain. That's the standard operation for the C panel. C stands for Solar Evaporation Array. 